new weapons, cash shop changes, crafting, emotes, and more to come in Warhammer 40k's Dark Tide. What's going on guys, my name is Psychus, and yes, you heard me right. Fat Shark has just dropped a preview of the next major update to come for Dark Tide. We are going to be going over some of the topics listed in this community update. Which, by the way, the post said that the patch is slated to go live next Wednesday on December 14th. Also, link to the full community update will be in the description down below for those of you who are interested in reading it yourself. Alright, so first things first is more weapons. The Indignatus Mark IV Crusher and the Achilles Mark I Power Maw are confirmed to be added in the next update. I'm guessing these weapons are for the Ogren Skullbreaker class. If you guys can confirm this, that would be much appreciated. I'm hoping it is so because I do main an Ogren class and the weapon choices for the Ogren is so much more limited than other classes. And it would be nice to have a bit more variety for the Ogren class. But anyway, so far these are the only two weapons that are confirmed for the next update. Hopefully we will see more weapons, but we're gonna have to wait and see. Next up on the list is the cash shop. The devs have heard the community loud and clear about the issues. They are finally adding a 2400 Aquilas pack to the store and a 100 Aquila pack. However, the 100 Aquilas pack won't be added until a few weeks after the release of the next update. Lastly, they are going to change other functionalities of the store over time, hopefully to remove the timer that is on the bundles. We don't know yet. However, it is good to hear that the devs are listening and making changes to the cash shop, but implementing the 100 Aquila pack later seems a bit odd. So let's talk about the crafting system. It looks like Fat Shark is going to be slowly rolling out the full system over time. I was under the impression that the full crafting system would be coming in this next update. From the community post, it looks like only the refined system is going to be coming next week. This effectively lets you replace one perk slot on a weapon or a curio. The same perk slot can be rerolled multiple times. However, it will block out replacing other perks on the same item. So if I'm reading this correctly, you can choose to reroll one of your perks per item as it blocks out the secondary perk. Correct me if I'm wrong here. I'm not too sure how I feel about this because the game has a ton of RNG tied to it already. We'll just have to wait and see when we get our hands on this feature. Next up on the list is private sessions and solo play. Starting next week with two or more players in the strike team, players will be able to opt into playing privately via the mission board. This will prevent players who are not friends of a strike team member from hot joining the squad during a mission in progress. If the squad is all disconnected and a player is left alone when the reservation time expires, the mission will become public. As for solo mode, we are actively working on it. While it technically could work now, we are not happy with its state yet, and we want to ensure the solo experience lives up to your expectations. Right now, it does not, and we would do the game a disservice by implementing it. And it looks like emotes are in the works as well. Many players have asked us for more interesting ways to interact with people in the Morningstar. Near term, we will be introducing the ability for your characters to use an emote in the hub. Players will be able to customize this emote wheel in the cosmetic menu for their character. Next up is the possibility of shared progression across all characters. Since launch, we have seen feedback from many players requesting shared progression across characters to ensure a smoother progression loop. Our designers are taking this feedback seriously and are discussing how best to implement a solution that meets our players' desire and gameplay goals while striking a balance with the game's design intent. This is a sizable endeavor and its feasibility is still unknown. We hope to be able to share more information on its progress at a later time. Hopefully the devs are able to implement this feature in the future as it would lessen the grind overall. Lastly, let's talk about the penance system. We've been working closely with our community support team on how you all feel about penances in the game and some of the pain points surrounding them. There's been a lot of feedback to pour through, but we've found there's a disconnect between how we phrase the requirements of some penances and the criteria to achieve them, making them more frustrating for players than we intended. Based on the feedback we received from the support team, we are currently working through solutions to make penances smoother and more enjoyable for players. That is really awesome to hear as some of the penances are downright frustrating and obnoxious to complete. It's going to be interesting to see the changes to the penance when they come. And that's pretty much the preview for the next major update for Warhammer 40k's Dark Tide. Once again, link to the full post is in the description below. 
I will let you guys know if there are any more changes to come next week. But for now, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.